Well, it's Friday morning in Minnesota, and I just loaded air conditioners going to Washington State and Oregon. Now that's gonna be two days worth of driving, and we got three days to get there. So we're gonna have time to do some fishing and some sightseeing. It's gonna be a great trip, so stick around. Welcome to Trucking Outdoors. You gotta check out this monster load. Boy, I don't know if I can handle this load. It's gotta be pushing all of about mm, 1,500 pounds, something like that. <laughs> I've got enough straps to secure about 35,000 pounds on here. But uh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. What do you think, Sterling? Should we go to Montana? Should we go to Montana? Yeah? Should we go fishing? Yeah. Yeah, we should. Well, let's go. Dakota now so time to check the load make sure it's still back here you know it's not a very big load but don't have too much to worry about but still gotta be safe yep it's still there about ready to make the turn cross country on US Highway 212. It's about dark, letting Sterling run around a little bit. So we're gonna grab some supper, use the facilities, and keep going. We'll probably see you guys in the morning somewhere up towards Billings. Good morning from beautiful Montana and Wow, what a beautiful morning it is. Made it up to Broadus, Montana last night. Yeah, I pulled in last night to a little gas station. Thought it had truck parking, but apparently it didn't. And as I was turning around, I saw five deer in somebody's backyard, right off of the gas station parking lot. And let me tell you, two, if at least two of them were just gigantic bucks. You know, it's it's July, mid-July, so they're still in velvet. These these antlers were already huge. I've heard about the bucks in Broadus, and let me tell you, they ain't lying. Wow, 
it was they were massive that was really cool now today we're gonna head continue he heading west northwest and we'll be fishing by noon up there near Billings letting Sterling go out and do his thing you know get him all ready for the day and we're gonna get going <laughs> Western Montana, Yellowstone River right behind me. This is where it all started for me. First time I ever wet a line was ex almost exactly two years ago in this exact same spot. And first cast was a, the most beautiful rainbow trout I had ever seen. We're gonna try and recreate that today. First cast, first fish, not likely, but the chance is never zero. So let's get at it. So that's the Yellowstone River. And as you can see, the river runs right next to the highway. There's the big red sled. This is how trucking outdoors started. Sterling doing Sterling things. Sterling is put back in the truck. And don't worry, air conditioner's on. I put his favorite movie on. He's got water, he's fine. If you are a Montana fly trout fishing purist if you think the only way to catch trout in montana the only right way to catch trout in montana is with a fly rod you're gonna wanna i don't know plug your ears hit mute for a minute don't go anywhere but this is your trigger warning i don't i don't i'm not in the habit of giving trigger warnings but this is your trigger warning okay for everybody else if you want to catch trout in montana you don't need a fly rod. Shh. You don't need it, okay? If if all you got is a spinning rod and you don't know how to fly fish, it's fine. Just come out here. All you need is a few of these. These inline spinners. They're called Panther Martins. Yellow, little red dots, whatever. The size, color, okay? Nice and small. That's all you need. You can come out here and cast from the bank and you can catch fish. I know I've seen me do it. So let's go do it now. Come on. Yep. Two years ago, almost exactly. Literally, this very rock. First cast, 18 inch rainbow. I couldn't believe it. 
But I had to, I was looking right at it. You know, last time I was here, I got here at, I don't know, 6 a.m. So they were pretty active in feeding when I was here. Right now, it's, I don't know, afternoon, somewhere, afternoon. Don't know, honestly, what time it is. Because I'm fishing, don't care. Definitely not the prime feeding hours. That seems to be the problem right now. That's all right. We're still fishing the Yellowstone River. I mean, yeah. We got crazy mountains in the background. I'm not sure what the next mountain range is. I haven't been here since. Well, I haven't been here for two years. I used to know them all. Used to come through here about every week. But that's been a long time ago. But I know those are the crazies. See? There comes some more people. Changed spots a little bit. Came down here by a nice shade tree. I don't know if it really matters to trout, if it's sunny or shady, because the water is nice and cool no matter what. Where I have come from, midday like this, all the fish go either deep water or shade. I don't know if that makes a big deal to a trout or not. But I can tell you, Makes a big deal for the fishermen. It's nice in the shade. The nice thing about these Panther Martins is they just kind of bounce. Ooh, there's a fish. I see it. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's right here. following it. Oh! And he's gone. Darn it! <laughs> well, we saw one. At least I did. I'm sure you didn't. It's all right. He was interested, but not aggressive. Well, let's see if we can get another one. No luck here. Just that one, just spotted that one. But that's okay. We'll keep moving on down the highway. And we'll 
head down to the next spot. Well, a hop, skip, and a jump in Montana is about a three, three and a half hour ride. So we are back here. Uh, stay. He just saw a bunch of ducks taking off downstream. That's a good boy. Sit. That's a good boy. I know. No, you good stay. Good stay. Anyway, we're over here by Missoula. This is our next fishing spot. I want to introduce you to the Clark Fork River. We have actually crossed the Continental Divide. So now this river is flowing west where the Yellowstone was flowing east. The biggest challenge about having Sterling out here while I'm fishing is gonna be trying to keep him out of the water because there is nothing worse in the truck than a wet dog. So let's see if we can accomplish that. Catch some fish, keep the dog out of the water. It'd be a good day if we could do both. A few moments later. And we failed. Didn't we? Yep. Oh, there you go. You feel better? Do you feel better? <laughs> I know. Awesome. The neat thing about this spot is literally a rest area right on the interstate. Right behind these trees behind me is the interstate. And the state was kind enough to put a walkway in the fence. So you can walk through the fence and come down here and go fishing. How cool is that? You know, someday it would be fun to bring my fly rod out, charter a boat, and float down some of these rivers. I'll probably do it someday. But right now, I'm happy doing it the freeway. <laughs> Get it? <The> freeway? <laughs> Don't hate me. Ooh. Oh! Oh! He came up to it, went to grab it, and then turned away. God darn it! Uh, trout about that long. Come on, do it again. I'll throw you back, I promise. Dang it! Bites and follows, but nothing committing. The jump to this fishing spot was nowhere near as long as the last one. Or about three miles down the road from the rest area and same river so there's a little parking area right here just off the on-ramp so we're gonna see what's going on down here it's like the bad thing about slower deeper water is there's a little bit more sticks down here I'm gonna have to be careful not to get this snagged up. It's the only color, yellow color one I have. <sighs> Try this side of the bridge. Put the Eddie back here. All right. Sterling, Sterling failed to get, stay out of the water earlier. Let's see if I can have better luck. Meaning I do not want to be in the water. All these little minnows are swallowing, swimming around, messing with it. Where are the big fish? Well, let's move on down the road. Next fishing area was about eight miles down the road. 
And this one is actually a pond. And I was reading that they actually stock some fish in this pond. Cutthroat even. That would be cool to catch a cutthroat. But there's a lot of people around here. Oh, it looks like it's a swimming pond too. Should have brought my shorts. Because I could certainly use a dip in the water right now. It's warm out here. Started out nice, like 60 degrees this morning, but now it's up in the 80s. This beautiful little pond ain't no secret. There's all kinds of people out here, which is cool. It's really nice. Kids swimming all over. So I just kind of found a spot off by myself. Hopefully the fish aren't too disturbed and see if we can't get one. See if we can't get one or seven. A thousand little minnows, about that big, schooling around. Oh, that guy's got something. I think he still has it. Oh yeah. Looks like maybe a bass or something. Read the sign on the way in and there was, it said daily limit of five largemouth bass. So apparently there's plenty of bass in here. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> Seriously, that's what's been chasing. And I just happened to snag one. I think they're largemouth bass fry or something. Good Lord. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got one. My Montana fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not skunked. All right. Well, I think I'm going to get out of here. There's just a lot of people around. So off to the next one or maybe to Missoula. I'm not sure. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of my bucket list items. This river you're looking at right here is a body of water I've been wanting to fish for a long time. One of my favorite movies is A River Runs Through It. That famously takes place outside of Missoula, Montana on the Big Blackfoot River. This is the Big Blackfoot. So even if I catch nothing, this trip, this fishing spot is worth it. Boy, let me tell you, I'm lighting them up. Look at this. Oh. So this, these are the little guys that have been tormenting me all day long. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's a trout. Ooh. So, pretty sure it's a trout. You know what it is. Comment below. 
but I think it's like a little, maybe a bull trout? I don't know, I think that's a thing. I'm not a trout expert, so. I caught a fish on the Blackfoot River. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna do it for me tonight. Mosquitoes are about carrying me away and I'm tired. So we have our fish on the big Blackfoot. I'm staying at the truck stop 300 yards that way. So I'm gonna be back here first thing in the morning Hopefully we can catch that morning bite and see if we can get a, okay, I'm not gonna say real trout, but a bigger one. How's that? Because that was real. That was a real trout. You saw it. Stick around, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Well, it's day two here on the Blackfoot River. Nice and early in the morning. So chances are good we're gonna get something. We've got a, uh, a nice river walk down and around the corner downstream here. So I'm gonna bounce down for a couple hours and fish and then it's Sunday morning now, tomorrow morning, we have to go back to work, you know, delivering uh, the AC units that are on the trailer. So today we've got to catch a fish, another fish. <laughs> so let's get at it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's another little one. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Here's another little baby. <laughs> They're fun too, I guess. <laughs> oh, you sucker. Family show. Family show. Did you see it? Right there. This is where a fly rod would come in handy. Or maybe some waders. Just need to get out there a little bit. I don't know. They don't want what I got. Yeah, there's another one jumping around. They're eating bugs on the top. I don't know what bugs they're eating. I don't, there's no bugs flying around, which is actually really nice. But I, I don't know what they're going after. Well, here it is, the confluence where the Blackfoot River meets the Clark Fork and turns into the Clark Fork. What amazes me is all of the colors in all the rocks. But yeah, the colors are just gorgeous. It's hard to describe. And, and video photography does no justice for the sheer beauty of all of it. Folks, I gotta tell you, I'm not too proud of myself. I almost walked away. I was just thinking to myself, well, I need waders. I wish I had I wish I had some waders. Well, you know what? In the movie A River Runs Through It, there was no such thing as waders. They just manned up, got in a river, and caught fish. That's what we're doing.
had one. Pretty sure it was one of them little babies, but. That went on for a second. Oh, my feet are numb in the best way. This water is beautiful. Now, I don't dare go out further any further that way. It gets pretty deep and pretty fast. So, maybe move down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have to say the same thing about you. Not what I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Not what I was expecting to see today, I'll tell you that much. You too. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the fishing portion of my out west adventure has come to an end. But the work's not done. Tomorrow, I will be delivering in eastern Washington state and finishing out in Portland, Oregon. Now, that route is gonna take me through one of the most scenic and beautiful roadways and waterways in the entire country. And I know I've seen a lot of them. We're gonna, tomorrow we're gonna be going through the Columbia River Gorge, going down into Portland. And now, to say that the camera doesn't do it justice that could be the understatement of all time it is beauty that can only be appreciated in person so if you get a chance i highly recommend taking that trip down interstate 84 into portland it is breathtaking i'm going to leave you guys with that footage but i want to thank you guys for watching Coming along with me on my adventure, didn't catch many fish, or the size that we were looking for, but we saw fish, okay? And it was still a great adventure. You cannot beat the scenery. You can't beat the water out here. If you ever get a chance, you're coming through on a road trip with the family, whatever you do, just come out and experience the mountains of the Western US in person you'll make lifetime memory thank you guys for supporting the show make sure you go to truckingoutdoors.com to get your merch like this shirts hats all kinds of stuff we got it all thank you guys so much for coming along and until next time keep the shiny side up